from UFOs to possible alien abductions, we're fascinated by the idea of extraterrestrial life. Now, scientists have found the strongest evidence yet that a planet 124 light years away could be home to life. Researchers detected molecules in the atmosphere on the K218b, which on Earth are produced by marine organisms. Researchers here in the UK say they have found the strongest sign yet of possible life beyond our solar system. Scientists have discovered an Earth-like planet that's not too far away, at least in cosmic terms. It's the closest planet to our solar system and the most important discovery in more than 20 years, as it could be able to sustain life. An amazing discovery by NASA to tell you about. The space agency says it has found what it's calling Earth's cousin, the most similar planet to our own they've ever found. On April 17th of this year, NASA released data that could completely change our understanding of space. Signs of life were discovered on a distant planet with a probability of 99.7%. This planet is K2018, located 2021 light years away from us. In its atmosphere, chemical compounds were detected that on Earth are almost always associated with living organisms. Moreover, their concentration is a thousand times higher than on our planet. If these substances are truly the result of biological activity as they are here on Earth, then right now there may not just be life out there, but a thriving ocean of biological diversity. Amazingly, everything points to k 2 at being a water world, a planet covered with deep oceans, hiding active life, life that might be completely unlike anything on Earth. Music. 2015, the Kepler Space Telescope, having begun its K2 second light mission, scans the depths of space. Over the course of this mission, it discovers more than 1,200 distant planets. Among them, one especially captures scientists' attention. A planet with mysterious signs of potential habitability. It's almost 2.5 times larger and nearly nine times heavier than our home planet. Scientists name it K21T. 2017, the Spitzer Telescope joins the research. It confirms that K2018b is located within the habitable zone of its star, precisely where liquid water could exist on the planet's surface. Almost at the same time, a scientific observatory in Chile, using the precise HARP spectrograph, determines the planet's density, suggesting the presence of an ocean. The stakes rise. More and more signs suggest that life might exist on this planet. 2019. The Hubble Space Telescope makes a new discovery. Water vapor is detected in K2ND18B's atmosphere. The possibility of a deep, life-supporting ocean no longer seems like science fiction. Hope becomes tangible. 2023, the most powerful modern telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, comes into play. Its sensors detect something that instantly shocks scientists Traces of a chemical compound known as D-methyl sulfide, DMS, a substance that, with rare exceptions, is almost always produced by living organisms on Earth, such as phytoplankton and other marine microbes. If this isn't an error, scientists may have found signs of life beyond Earth for the first time. Still, there wasn't complete certainty. There's always a chance it could simply be a mistake. The data might have been distorted, especially since the initial measurement was taken by a single instrument, the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, and distinguishing dimethyl sulfide from, say, methane in that range is very difficult. Scientists were faced with a reasonable question, what if it was a glitch or a peculiar way the instrument operated? To check, NASA decides to conduct repeated observations using a different instrument and a different method. If both independent devices showed the same result, it would be possible to declare a real discovery. April 17, 2025, the James Webb Telescope uses a new instrument to perform a repeated, detailed scan of K2018b. This time it's a camera operating in the mid-infrared range. The results are staggering. Signs of dimethyl sulfide are detected once again. 
and its concentration may be colossal, a thousand times higher than on Earth. This isn't just any rare gas. Dimethyl sulfide is quite unusual. On Earth, it appears when microscopic algae like phytoplankton begin to decompose in the ocean. In the process of their decay, this gas is released, easily evaporating and rising into the atmosphere. And if you've ever walked along a seaside during windy weather, you've definitely smelled it. Dimethyl sulfide is what creates that characteristic ocean smell impossible to confuse with anything else. But it's not just about the smell. This gas has an important property. It's very unstable in the atmosphere. It survives only for a few days, quickly destroyed by sunlight and oxygen. This means it can't just hang around. It has to be constantly replenished. And on Earth, this replenishment is almost always linked to life. That's why the discovery brought so much awe to the scientific community. The concentration of dimethyl sulfide in K2018b's atmosphere turned out to be a thousand times higher than on Earth. What could this mean? Given how quickly this gas disappears, there's only one logical explanation. If its source is biological, as it is on Earth, there must be something alive on K2018b. And on a huge scale, enough to constantly sustain such a large amount of dimethyl sulfide in the atmosphere. Detecting this gas from 2024 light years away sounds almost like science fiction, but the James Webb Telescope made it a reality using a truly impressive method. Every time K21EAT passes in front of its star, part of the star's light filters through the planet's atmosphere. And although it's a tiny fraction of the light, it carries a wealth of information. The atmosphere acts like a filter, absorbing specific wavelengths of light, depending on what gases are present. These changes in the light spectrum are like clues left by the planet itself, which the telescope captures and sends back to Earth. Astronomers collect these clues, analyze them, and use them to reconstruct the chemical composition of the atmosphere. In other words, we're basically reading the atmosphere of a distant planet, via the light of its star. But to accurately understand what K2018b may conceal, we need to look at the conditions in which it exists. The planet orbits the star K2018, a cool red dwarf located 12 light years away from Earth. Its orbit lies very close to the star, about 2.5 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. However, the star itself is much smaller cooler and dimmer than our sun. Thanks to this delicate cosmic balance, K2018b receives approximately the same amount of heat and light as Earth. That's why it's considered potentially habitable. Scientists classify it as a so-called Hycean planet, a hypothetical exoplanet proposed in 2021, which could be completely covered by a deep ocean and hidden beneath a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Additionally, it was determined that there is no ammonia in key 2018b's atmosphere, which also supports the idea that there may be a vast amount of water on the surface. Ammonia would simply dissolve into the ocean. But despite all these promising signs, there are serious doubts as well. If the planet is really encased in water, it might be too hot so hot in fact that life as we know it simply couldn't exist. The temperature, pressure, and chemical environment could turn the ocean into a boiling inferno. Moreover, there's still an active debate about the true nature of the planet itself. Some scientists, including Dr. Nicholas Vaughn of NASA's Ames Research Center, believe that K218b might not be an ocean world at all but rather a miniature gas giant without a solid surface. If that's the case, the chances of life on this planet will almost completely vanish. However, the project's lead researcher, Professor Niku Madara Sudan from the University of Cambridge's Institute of Astronomy, views the situation with much greater optimism. It was his team that discovered signs of dimethyl sulfide, and he's convinced that K21218b does indeed have an ocean 
and could be teeming with life. According to him, in the next one to two years, scientists will be able to determine with 100% accuracy whether this gas is present and whether it's a product of biological processes or has some other origin. Currently, scientists estimate the probability of signs of potential life in K218b's atmosphere at an impressive 99.7%. This is the highest level of reliability ever recorded in the search for biosignatures beyond Earth. In scientific statistics, this level of probable accuracy is referenced to as 3 sigma out of 5, meaning the confidence level is about 99.7%. Referenced during initial observations, possible signs of biological activity were detected with only 1 sigma of confidence, about 68%. But for a claim to be considered absolutely reliable by scientific standards, it needs to reach 5 sub 99.9994% confidence or just one chance in a million that the scientists are wrong. This 5 sigma threshold was, for example, the standard required for the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. And the same level of precision is now expected from the data on K2118b. No matter how promising it all sounds, scientists at the University of Cambridge are proceeding with caution it's still too early to declare a sensation. To confidently claim the existence of life on k 2 Sain b researchers must first confirm the presence of dimethyl sulfide in its atmosphere with 99.9994% certainty. Then they must prove that this gas indeed has a biological origin similar to how it's produced on Earth. If this is confirmed, we would witness something truly extraordinary, the first real proof of extraterrestrial life in history. But what's even more astounding is not just the fact of its existence, but the place where it might be found. Key 2 Water ATB is located just 24 light years away from Earth, or about 7,130 trillion miles. For us humans, that distance seems absolutely insurmountable. Even trying to send a person to Mars remains a huge challenge, not to mention interstellar travel, which might forever remain beyond our reach. However, when looking at the scale of the universe itself, a distance of 2024 light years is not just small, it's barely a speck on the map. The universe stretches across 93 billion light years, and if life is found on a planet just 24 light years away, it would be like saying the entire universe is your homeland, and the thing you've been searching for all along was in the spare room in your apartment. This would mean that if life exists out there, it could exist anywhere. Such a discovery could completely change our understanding of how widespread life might be in the cosmos. For now, it remains only a hypothesis. Research is ongoing, and despite the scientists' caution, one thing is clear, never before has humanity come so close to answering the greatest question of our existence. Are we alone in the universe, 